All right. When a complex function f of z is analytic in this ring region around the origin, then it can be expanded as a Lorentz series like this, where this power n runs from negative infinity to positive infinity, and this coefficient cn is determined by this integral. And we see some similarities between the Lorentz series and the Fourier series. We have some power of something here, and we have power of something here, and the coefficients are determined in terms of integrals in both cases. In this video, we show that the Fourier series can be considered as a special or limiting case of the Lorentz series. Okay, let's start. Okay, first let's try this exercise of finding the Lorentz series of this function where uh, z is uh, bounded in this ring region. Okay, so let's modify this as 1 over 3z, 1 minus z over 3. Okay, since because of, you know, this limit, uh, z over 3 is uh, the absolute value of z over 3 is less than 1. So we can expand this part as 3z as 1 plus z over 3 plus z over 3 squared and so on by using the sum of uh, the geometric series. So this is three z 1 over 3z sum n from 0 to infinity z over 3 to the power of n. Uh, let's uh, move this inside the sum. So we have n from 0 to infinity, z, so n minus 1, and 3, n plus 1. So let's shift the, the index uh, by 1, and we have n from negative 1 to infinity, and z to z to the power of n and 3 to the power of n plus plus 2. So this is the Lorentz expansion of uh, this function. Now, let's write this ring region as this, R1. So the inner circle has the radius of R1 and z absolute value. And the outer circle has the radius of R2. And suppose R1 is less than 1 and R2 is l greater than 1. Then this circle C can be uh, represented as Z equal to e to the power of i t. So, so the radius of this circle C is 1, right? So Z absolute value is 1. Now, Along this path, let's calculate the lower coefficient of a function. So cn is 1 over 2 pi i, and the integral around this circle, z and z negative 1, neg negative n negative 1 dz. But now we integrate along this path. So dz is equal to i e i t d t and t runs from 0 to 2 pi so this is equal to 0 to 2 pi f of e to the power of i t and e to the power of i t to the power of negative n negative 1 i e to the power of i t d t so we can cancel this i and this i. 0, 2 pi, i, t, and exponential of, uh, let's see. So we have negative i and t, and this part will be canceled by this part. So we have this. And this final integral somehow looks familiar. For example, uh, let's say we define a new function g of t as f of exponential of i t. 
then this integral becomes uh, equals uh, 1 over 2 pi uh, integral from 0 to 2 pi of g of t exponential of negative i n t dt so this is exactly the Fourier coefficient of this function so to begin with we have this Lorentz series uh, f of z equals to some n from negative infinity to positive infinity cn and z to the power of n where cn is determined by this integral uh, f of z z to the power of negative one n negative one dz now by replacing z equals to e to the power of i t then we have f of e to the power of i t equals to sum n from negative infinity to positive infinity c n e to the power of i n t so this is a Fourier series and the coefficient c n is determined by 1 over 2 pi uh, integral from 0 to 2 pi and f of e to the power of i t e to the power of negative i n t d t so we can see the Fourier series is a special case of the Lorentz series when this path can be taken as the unit circle around the origin okay that's all for this video see you later thanks for watching if you like this video Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye.